Hi, this is KB2MXV. I just wanted to do an updated video about using your OpenSpot Shock RF for uh, using it as a scanner when you're not uh, using it to transmit on DMR. So uh, what I want to do is I want to log into my uh, OpenSpot. Now OpenSpot, you're able to set up five different profiles. My current profile right now is KB2MXV DMR profile. Uh, when you look at my status, uh, when you look at my status, okay, here it's coming up now. You'll see I have no static torque groups or dynamic torque groups. A dynamic torque group is a torque group that you uh, basically PTT into, and you'll keep that torque group for 15 minutes. A static torque group is a torque group that you could define uh, on the brand master what brain. I'm sorry. On the Brandmeister website, and you can have those talk groups load automatically. So in this configuration, um, when you look at my status, here's my DMR ID, um, and with this DMR ID, I'm logged on right now. It's connected to Brandmeister. When you look at my dashboard, you can see that uh, here is my hotspot. It shows two hotspots for me. This is my normal DMR ID, and you can see at the bottom there are no static torque groups. So when I'm in um, this particular profile um, on my open spot, I have no static uh, torque groups loaded. And again, here's my ID. So what I did was I made a second profile on the open spot where I used my ID but I added two zeros at the end and what's going to happen is let me go grab that ID I called it DMR scanner and I'm going to change to that profile so now when that profile loads we'll take a look at status and you're going to see static talk groups load as soon as that profile logs on It just takes a second for it to log in. Okay. So now I'm going to log back into my open spot. Um, and when you look at connectors, notice my DMR ID, it has two extra zeros at the end of it. Uh, I'm not going to be transmitting on this uh, ID, but it is an ID that when I go into my status, you'll see all of these static torque groups uh, get loaded automatically. When you go to Brandmeister and you look at my hotspots on the 001, let me just reset my connection and that 001 should show as active also. Let me just refresh that page. Okay, it's not showing active, but it is active because um, now I'm on the zero zero, and you can see I have all these static talk groups loaded. So now what's happening on my open spot? My open spot is sitting on Brandmeister. Uh, it has it's connected to all of these static talk groups: 310, you know, Northeast Pennsylvania TAC. I have a few New York City repeaters in here. So what happens is anytime any transmissions are made on these talk groups because they're static they'll come through my open spot now I don't have my radio on my DMR radio on to talk to my open spot but what I do have is my uh, Whistler scanner that is able to decode DMR and uh, one of my scan channels is my channel that I'm using for the open spot so when something comes in on these talk groups my open spot transmits it my scanner hears it it's just another channel in my scanner and um, and you can hear them coming through. Um, you know, my scanner just popped up on TAC 310 because that is one of my IDs in here. So I hope that explains how to use two different IDs on one open spot at a time. Um, and you can set up different profiles on Brandmeister. Thanks for watching.